Hello! Thank you for tuning in to this week's reads. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. Uh, the YouTube channel is James 13 Wicca, in case you're seeing this somewhere else. For the main part of the read, I'm using the, YouTube, the, the uh, tarot deck, Gilded Tarot Royale by Chiro Marchetti, text by Barbara Moore. On the bottom here, assuming I get this right, um, it's Llewellyn.com is where this one came from anyway, and there's a couple other socials if you're interested. Supportive Oracle Cards, Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards by Tori Hartman, illustrated by Gretchen Raish Baskin. Baskin? Yeah. Watkins Publishing is the website, watkinspublishing.com, I believe. And I think there's a, a website for Tori Hartman, too, in that black little strip above the barcode. Feel free to check that out if you're interested. The, um... The dice are from the dice shop. The website is magic or uh, mathartfun.com if you want to check them out. I use a 22-sided dice for the major arcana, 22 substitutes for zero for the fool, 14-sided um, side, 14-sided dice for the minor arcana, and a three set four-sided dice for the element to match for the uh, minor arcana. That being said. If you take a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, james for astral at gmail.com. This is James the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below, same email. And let's go ahead and get into your reading. Hello, Aquarius. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid from whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Aquarius? Everything is like, I feel like everything is squished in. It feels kind of tight. Do you want, oh. All right, because I got a lot of love cards coming in, this doesn't have to be romance. Could. Could. Take it with a grain of salt. Um, something started off with a lot of passion, maybe without a lot of thought. This is a tricky card. All right, so there's a lot of different ways I interpret this one card. Depends on the flavor of the situation. Uh, two of Swords reversed the Emperor coming in, and then it's this card. This has a lot of different flavors to it. Um, it could talk about boundaries. It could be talking about how I feel held down about something, or like something has control over you. Or it could be a very sexually driven card. It could be. I've seen that come up in readings before, where it's talking about passion, and it's just kind of like letting your passion have control, to the point where it's like, maybe we're doing things that aren't the best idea. Um, <laughs> do I want to give an example of this? Um, it's like, maybe some people having, a couple people having a very passionate feeling about each other and doing it in a place that's not safe or not where they should, if you follow me, or just doing things that put them at physical risk in some version. Uh, something like that. You know, it's it's when, you know, it can be out of control. So this could be where passion was out of control and not left in check. And that might be how you got involved in this thing. Especially with the Two of Swords reversed saying, this is how I got out of a rut. I stepped out of something. I let my passion have its way. And I did what I wanted. I did what I wanted. And I got where I wanted to be. This could be what started this situation. It could be. Um, something with that energy or somebody pulling you in that way. Now, I feel like even if that's where this started, in some version of that, I feel like, you know, the fire's cool after a while. And it's kind of like we start looking at it for what, what it really is and what, what do we really want to make of it. There's a passionate energy here, but I feel like I got to kind of look at it Ten of Cups reversed, Strength card reversed. And a very random feeling, like, things are still kind of random. However this started, I let passion take the wheel. 
I left it unchecked, and I feel like it's still kind of working that way. I don't, I almost feel like maybe that, it almost feels like this could be talking about, I'm letting this, I'm letting this have way too much control. And I'm starting to feel like, I don't know where I think I'm going with this, but I don't know if this is a good idea. And I'm starting to think maybe I need to walk away from it. Maybe this is a bad connection. So if, if it is a romance thing, maybe there's like, maybe it's a toxic love affair. If this is a work thing, maybe I feel like, you know, whatever I'm a part of, I just feel at some point this is just not going to take me where I want to go in life or I'm connected with people I don't really feel like have my best interests or it's like the money is good now but it won't be good forever. Like some people, some jobs that people get involved in, it's very hard on their body and it's like it's good for now because the money's good but down the line my body's going to suffer for this. Something, it could be something like that. Um, something like that where I feel like there's really passionate benefits right now but I'm not really sure that this is a good idea. I keep feeling like maybe I should be walking away from it. Maybe this isn't a good idea. Something about this is like, I, I, I like what's going on here. I'm really attracted to it, but I, I keep thinking, is this a really good idea? Should I be running away from it? Should I be getting myself out of this? And I feel stuck. Okay. Dice are going. Queen of Swords is coming your way. The tower is coming in reversed. I'm feeling stuck. I'm feeling stuck and I feel like the situation is controlling me. I have seen that with people in certain jobs where the paycheck, it feels like it controls them. They do things, they keep going, they burn the candle at both ends and they feel like, well, I gotta, I gotta do it. I gotta do it because I gotta make a living. I gotta have this... You got this, this bill, that bill. I got these people depending on me. I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to do it. Um, I'm feeling stuck. But the Queen of Swords is coming in and the Tower card reversed. You're going to start seeing other people fall apart in this situation. And when things don't go well, they're going to exit fast. And people just keep exiting. And I see other people exiting this situation. Other people are going to try to step in quickly and try to fix it. So you do have somebody coming in trying to help you. When that comes in, and it comes in fast, I got that with the Eight of Wands, but I also got that with the Knight of Wands coming in. I feel like I have to address what is it about the situation? What is it about the situation that attracts me? What am I so attracted to? Why am I here? And I feel like I have to start breaking it down level by level. I may not want to. I may not like it. But I have to go from like what is attracting me, all the levels of that, and like why do I think this is a bad idea, and all the levels of that, and how is this really shaking out in the end for me? we got to be careful with this. we got to spill our cup. we got to spill our cup. Okay. It's an idea. Take it with a grain of salt. Readings for entertainment purposes only. So, if we keep secrets, if we keep secrets, the tower is going to haunt you in the background. The tower never disappears as long as we hold secrets. The tower will always be there waiting, waiting, waiting. I don't know when it's going to show up, but they're like, if you hold secrets... This is the moment to let go of those secrets because it's like if you're holding it, that tower is looming. And it's kind of like it's I'm struggling with these secrets and I don't completely fail at this moment, but I could down the line. The Ten of Wands is half in, half out, kind of like you're not hitting failure right now, but you might later. Be careful. Uh, something to consider, an option here you could go with is literally, even though I, I keep feeling like I need to like ex I need to expose that cup, because like when I see it with this card, I feel like I'm holding it back and I have things in this cup I'm not letting people see. If I expose that cup and I'm like, well, here's my cup, you can look in it. I'll, I'll, I'll whatever's in there, I'll tell you, and I explain why I'm so passionate about this cup. I give my truth about this cup, what's really in there, why I want it, why I've been going with it, why I've been letting this happen for so long. I expose everything in that cup. It's a consideration, something to consider. 
I'm gonna just roll the dice on this. Cause I'm getting like I'm getting a truth card coming up anyway. Justice comes in. We like that. By control, I lose control of the situation at the same time. That is hard. I'm not gonna pretend like it's not. It doesn't matter if I did, you'd still wouldn't believe me. Um Queen of Swords reversed, which could talk about your energy. And justice coming in. If I expose this, justice comes in. I lose control of the situation, but I feel like I don't have to fear that tower card anymore. Things completely falling apart. I have to completely expose it. I do get that sooner or later it's coming forward. This is the truth card I was talking about. <laughs> the, um, the Emperor is brutal truth. The Justice card is also truth as well, but the Justice card is more tries to see it from your point of view and tries to work with you. This card is not going to be very, it's not going to work with you. It's just going to be like, well, this is what's happening and this is what we're going to do because of it. This is more of a dictator card, in my opinion, when things are going wrong, they don't have patience for it. They're just like, this is bull, this is what we're going to do, and that's how it's going to be handled. The Justice card, ironically, wants to be more fair, wants to be more considerate. Fear might be like, well, you exposed that cup. You came forward before it got any worse. You said what was really there. Because you're honest, because, you, because you're honest, we believe you're trying to put best foot forward. Because you have that attitude, we're going to try to work it towards your advantage as much as ours, and we're going to try to make this work out fairly. But either way, it's coming out. Either way, Destiny is going to like... You can choose to let it come forward, and you can be like, all right, here's my cup. I'm going to expose myself. I lose control, but justice goes in my favor. Justice goes in your favor if you do, as much as it can. If you don't, Destiny says, well, it's coming out sooner or later anyway. You just might have the tower with it, and it's just like, I don't feel like you're getting much consideration for what's going on here. You have a very good ending for this card, because I feel like this is, it feels very doom and gloom a little bit. After you get by, after you get past this whole situation, things, ironically, will be very good for you again very stable for you again, but it's like whatever's going on here, we have to sort it out. Um, you can't get past it. Like something is brewing, something is happening, it's gonna have to be dealt with. Whether we like it or not, something has to be dealt with. It's brewing. I feel like this eight of the eight of pentacles, it is the eight, right? Yeah. So like when I do numerology, for example, the eight isn't the finish, it's the nine. The nine ends it, that's the end of it, because I do like some people think ten is, I don't feel ten is because if you I just don't I see nine as the end, but it's brewing. Something is about to come to its completion. It's going to happen sooner or later. Um, the facade of holding it back is going to be like somebody's trying to hold things back, but if somebody is helping you hold things back or helping you keep the truth here, it's going to fall away. Somebody else is going to let the bean slip sooner or later, and you will be called out. So it will happen sooner or later. The sooner you do it, and in fact, if you do it yourself versus somebody else, whatever this is, it's either you call it out or somebody else does. I kind of get that too. The sooner you get past this, the sooner you can get back to this beautiful day, the sooner things can be great for you again. So I don't know what this is in your life. Like it's a general read. For some of you, it's going to hit. For some of you, it's not. If you're like, this doesn't hit anything in my life, don't worry about it. For those of you that does, you're going to know what it is. And they're just saying the sooner you come forward and the sooner you sort it out, easier it gets for you. Expose that cup is the idea, is something to consider. Things could get better for you a lot sooner. By exposing the cup yourself, justice goes in your favor as much as it can. If you don't, it comes out anyway, and I don't feel like you're given any, if at, any consideration, if at all. So, but again, I keep seeing this. They're like, once we get past this, whatever it is, once we move on from it, things can be good again. But it's like, it's coming. Sooner or later, it's coming. That Queen of Swords showing up very soon, I feel like that's the perfect opportunity for you to do this. Something's going to happen where you're like, you're going to realize this is the moment where things can go better. That's the, the exposure cup idea at that point. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.